Hard to believe I ever complained about you this. You ask me, before. not enough of Winterhold fell off into the sea. Got any ale or mead? To the inn for a drink, of course. I'll sell just well, about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this clothing and Ingolbero, 
He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not. My cousin's out fighting the thing. And what do I get? Garden. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I look forward to it. Winterhold's glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. The college is an asset. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. No matter what, the college will live on. Mirabelle does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room. She's the Master Wizard here. Archmage Arryn may be in charge, but Mirabelle runs the place. You'd do well to remember that. Certainly. Destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot and less costly if you miss. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful, 
but you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. We are the only group left in Skyrim dedicated to the study of the Arcane. There are others who study, to be sure, but they do so in private and often in secret. Mirabelle will be waiting for you. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. I've made myself rather clear. Welcome yes. to the college. Another new to student. I'm but surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. 
After I finish showing you the ground, we can talk. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you. All of you, very closely. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim, to guide its people through this time of transition, to help lead them to a better future. I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusting. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of men. You look a bit peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. Sir? <laughs> How quaint. I am Savos Arin, Arch... I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power. Not something to be shunned by commoners, or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that, without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. Now, if you'll excuse me. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See? 
he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. The key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Also, if your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will recharge itself after a moment or two. Just be careful. Casting wards requires constant concentration and you can easily find yourself drained of your magicka reserves. I can certainly share a bit of what I know. Until next time. I have many important things on my mind. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. It's no secret. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The College fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the College, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. The Sea of Ghosts practically... Winterhold was ancient and weathered. The waves receded in time. The College survived. And so here we remain. Now we feel it.
one of a very few places where you can receive a real education in this place.
And here we all are. Shall we step inside? It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students, that would be a happy coincidence. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. All right, please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's all. Better to be cautious. I find it hard to believe this excavation was approved. As some of you may know, Sarthal was one of the earliest north settlements of Skyrim. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthal. This is an exciting opportunity for us. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the room. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find them... Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? All right, everyone. Let's be careful.
I'll be amazed if we find anything useful here. What? Ah, yes, you. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine, just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can catalog them. Uh-huh. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? There must be something about that. But have you tried putting it on? unusual and very interesting. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful. Very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished a 
along with their sanctuary on the Isle of... I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. I have no idea, but it's fascinating, assuming it's true. The Isle of Arteum dis... And yet now, suddenly, if nothing else, I'd take it as a compliment. The Sigics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. This is simply fascinating. Be prepared to defend yourself. seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why, just look at all these coffins. This bears closer inspection. I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why, just look at all these coffins. This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine. You, however, should pre be prepared to defend yourself.
thought it high time I caught up with you. To look at that. I never imagined we'd find Never should have come. <laughs> Only one seeing this, am I? This is utterly amazing. Be prepared to defend. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely ab I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabo Saren of this discovery? Please, hurry.
I have many of them. Better not get it. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Enchanting services are one of the few that keep us in touch with the rest. What? It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is... Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. All right, then. Please, don't do anything to anger the locals. They don't need additional... hate us.